Salam, my sweet friends. We're into fall now. Beautiful weather that makes you want to just bake some yummy, good homemade, you know, cookies, cakes, and all that good stuff to store in a cookie jar and to have throughout the day or the week with your chai or coffee. That's what I love to do, especially for the kids for after school. And today I'm sharing these yummy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies that are made out of simple ingredients that you see here and that are made in literally just minutes. And they're so delicious. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and keep watching. So I have all my ingredients here. I have some cinnamon, some vanilla. I have some flour, some oatmeal. I have some chocolate chips and some butter. So I went ahead and got some baking soda, my flour and my cinnamon. I mix that together with a pinch of salt and I'm going to go ahead and mix that together. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, so those will be the dry ingredients. In the meantime, I'm going to get my butter and I'm going to get some sugar and I'm going to get some brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing all that up together. Now, I went ahead and took out the butter from the refrigerator about 30 minutes before. You guys might want to really have it room temperature and not like mine's for the best results, you know. I was just in a quick hurry, couldn't wait to make them. For the kids when they got back from school so go ahead and add both of your guys's sugars then go ahead and add your vanilla and of course we went ahead and added the butter with the egg and go ahead and mix up your dry ingredients like this like i had mentioned and we'll go ahead and once that's all mixed up really nice together like this you want to go ahead and slowly start adding in your dry ingredients and then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and add our oatmeal. You can use rolled oats or you guys can use the instant oats, whichever ones you guys have on hand. And make sure you add a generous amount of cinnamon. I'll have the ingredients down below for you guys. So just go ahead and add in the oats and then go ahead. I've changed the attachment to my mixer. I use the paddle one for this now. Just go ahead and mix together. Start adding in your chocolate chips. And it's literally that easy, guys. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And depending on your oven, you want to wipe these very, very carefully. You do not want to overbake. In my preheated oven, this literally took like five or maybe six minutes to bake. It was already preheated. And once I put them in, I was watching them very, very carefully. And once you take the cookies out, they bake on the tray as well. So you don't want to overbake them in the oven. Just go ahead and use like a... Um, ice cream scoop or just your hands or anything and start to prepare your cookie uh, dough balls like this you guys can use any shape or any size and then it's time for them to go ahead and go in the oven you guys can use any baking sheet and this is what they look like in the oven when they were done and i literally took them out at this time and they're all done the house smells heavenly there's something different about oatmeal cookies that if you know you know you know <laughs> it's very very good and very delicious don't forget to add chopped pecans or walnuts or almonds which i totally forgot about this time but usually i do add them and they're so good and i hope that you guys can make this throughout fall and enjoy it with your family they're so good and so soft and so delicious like this i hope and pray you guys will enjoy this video don't forget to like share and let me know what you guys think down below and i have so many more fall recipes that are coming up right after this so take care guys a love is